Hi there. Well, today we're going to be having a look at a brand new Zigbee smart switch that has just been released by Sonoff. So this device has been designed to accept both neutral and non-neutral wiring systems. It's been designed to operate with Home Assistant either over ZHA or Zigbee to MQTT. It's compatible with the iHost, NS Panel Pro, Zigbee Bridge U and Zigbee Bridge P as well as the Zigbee dongle E and P. Now I'm going to try it today with my SM Lite Zigbee as well to see how that's going to work. It doesn't operate with the Echo Show Zigbee, Echo 4th Gen or the Echo Plus 2nd Gen. The wiring is super simple. As with all Sonoff switches, you apply a live and a neutral and then the live out to the light and the neutral is connected to the light as well. And this is the wiring for the non-neutral. Now you can create your own automations through the Sonoff ecosystem or you can do them within Home Assistant. The Amazon Alexa can be used to control this device but remember that the Zigbee radio within the Amazon device will not work with this. So having a look at the device, I've got the three gang unit over here. So these are nice, give you a nice firm click when you press them down. Feels like decent quality plastic. On the back side, we've got this metal plate and then we've got our actual relays inside of here. So you can clip off this little cover and then you've got access to the screws to connect your live and neutral and then your live out to each one of the lights individually. So as you can see, the little blue light is flashing on in the center one of the relays. If we click any of these switches, you'll see that you get a little red light coming on like that. If we want to make sure that it goes into pairing mode, we hold the center button in for a couple of seconds like this. And you can hear the click of the relay and it starts flashing with that blue light. So now I'm going to go along to Home Assistant and I'm going to see if I can connect this up directly to my Home Assistant Zigbee network devices and services. Add integration. Add a Zigbee device and let's see what happens. There we go. It's paired up immediately and there we go. All ready to use. So I'm going to select this in the living room. So let's see what we have within Home Assistant. So we have our three switches which are controllable within that. And as you can see, if we control them from the switch, they give us instant feedback. Then we have our configuration, which allows us to do startup behavior, either on toggle or previous value. And then down the bottom here, we can press the identify button, which doesn't really do anything. And then we've got our RSSI, which we can enable. And that will now give us the Zigbee signal strength for this device. So now let's see what happens when we connect it directly to the NS Panel Pro. So I'm going to go into my NS Panel, go to the Zigbee Gateway, I'm going to go Add Device, and then I'm going to hold the pairing button down on the switch to put it into pairing mode. And there we go, it's added it. So one software bug that I have discovered is that if you can try and control these switches directly from the NS Panel Pro, there's only one on and off button which controls all three relays at the same time. Well, overall, I think this is a really great option if you're looking for a Zigbee controlled light switch that works really well with Home Assistant. Please let me know what you think about this switch in the comments below. If you've enjoyed my content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.